that's what we kind of associate cicadas. They come out and they do the two best things they're known to. They'll sing at the top of their voices and they pee in the wind. And as you're walking, you'll feel this mist because there'll be hundreds of cicadas. And that's when you look up and uh, if you get close enough, they're actually very good camouflage artists. They're very hard to find because they're brown. They camouflage uh, with, with the bark. This year, we're going to get two broods that are going to emerge at the same time. Um, and it's, uh, you know, if you're fascinated by a solar eclipse that's going to happen, this is just like that, but multiply by a hundred, a thousand. We're going to get trillions of these amazing living organisms come out of the earth. It's like an entire alien species living underneath our feet. Um, and then some prime number of years, they come out to say hello. And all they do is just climb up on trees and pee. Uh, that's that's as much damage as they do uh, but yeah if you uh, don't disturb them and scare them and get your iPhone out you can actually catch uh, these jets uh, that they squirt uh, once every few seconds uh, one thing I should clarify that unlike mammalian human pee cicadas are feeding on xylem which is again 95% water it's very low nutrient and once it's processed by the cicada They've taken much more of that 5%, so what's coming out is just water, so you don't have to worry. It isn't like our human pee, it's not disgusting, it's just, it's just water. So I think we get to appreciate, you know, this fragile planet we cohabitat with uh, so many beautiful uh, systems, small, but a lot in number, and uh, you know, so much we don't know yet. It's 2024, we may have chat GPT, but we still have many, many questions we don't have answers for.